I'm talking about a clean slate. You ever try and clean an actual slate? You always see what was on it before. Dollhouse is about a group of people who have had their personalities um, temporarily removed so that they can be imprinted with different personalities, different motor skills, different languages, um, and be programmed or imprinted um, with sort of uh, amalgams of real personalities to become very specific people and then hired out for very different engagements. And Hello, Echo. Liza Dushku plays Echo, who is one of them. Did I fall asleep? Who every week sort of takes on a different persona, quite literally, goes out on these engagements, and uh, in the meantime is sort of beginning to become self aware uh, when she's in her wiped state and beginning to wonder who she is, why she's there, and if she would maybe like to leave. Are you volunteer? I don't have a choice, do I? In Dollhouse, she's had her personality taken away, whether or not she volunteered for this. Um, and, you know, the whole history of that, as some people have, um, is something we, we're rolling out. But the fact of the matter is to have everything taken from you in that fashion and to build yourself up from nothing in the most literal sense, um, to me, is fascinating. It's a story about strength told from the point of view of the weakest a person can be. Eliza amazes me. We talked about sexuality and, you know, that part of humanity, and she felt like exploring that somehow. Um, and I was talking about how versatile I think she is, and through that came the idea for Dollhouse, which was you're somebody different all the time, and 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 part of that we wanted to deal with was the idea that you know part of what she would be doing would be having sex. And Prince gone, the new moon has made her virgin again. If people could hire other people to be whoever they wanted, then that is an issue that would come up. It made the. Uh, premise a little very dicey for a lot of people including the network but we just felt it would be interesting to explore and disingenuous not to the first person who ever said that this show was in danger of possibly doing the worst thing possible and somehow glorifying human trafficking was me because I'm not stupid it uh, you know it's a premise that structurally uh, shares something with that obviously that's the last thing I want to do but I do want to do a show that discusses the idea of what we want from each other sexually, what we would do if we could have whatever we needed sexually. So I put it in a fantasy where these people are never allowed to get hurt, they're taken very good care of, um, they're you know paid tons of money, and after five years they're allowed to go off. So we're hopefully dealing with the idea of objectification, we're dealing with the idea of power and abuse of power, and the dollhouse does not come out of this as you know this wonderful place, but neither do we just baldly say, everybody here is evil, everybody in the show is compromised, everybody that you think is evil has something they're doing that they consider to be noble, and everybody who's noble has an urge in them that is a little bit uh, creepy. Look at Echo. Not a care in the world. She's living the dream. Whose dream? Who's next?